Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Today is probably my first time maybe um, cooking this sweet potato leaves. Um, it's actually my favorite uh, veggie, but the reason why I seldom cook it is because there is one membrane uh, along the stems here, you actually need to peel it off. So usually, Appa is very lazy to do all that, so I seldom cook. I always, uh, when uh, eating outside restaurant, I will order this dish. Uh, but yeah, I then I realized, re um, actually I already have a helper, I can actually get my helper to help me to uh, peel off the membrane yeah you need to peel off the, the the outer layer of the membrane because if you don't do so you will be very chewy you can't really eat it yeah too chewy all right so we already peel off the thing the the mem outer membrane then i'm going to cook it using sambal blachan okay uh chao fan suye uh chao blachan okay fan suye chao blachan so sweet potato leaves uh stir fry with uh blachan actually it's actually stir fry with blachan sambal. Yeah? Okay, now let's look at the ingredient. Of course, uh, you have the sweet potato leaves. And then uh, the, let's do the sambal blachan here. The, it is slightly different than the usual uh, sambal blachan that I normally will be doing. And I will tell you why. Okay, now uh, I will tell you what are they. What's the differences? Okay, now first of all, of course, uh, we have our, this is one big tablespoon of uh, dry roasted blachan. Now, when you buy from the supermarket the blachan block, if you're in Malaysia, it actually comes with a block. So after that, what I will normally do is I will dry roast it, uh, meaning you pan fry it without using oil under medium medium heat. Um, pan fry until it becomes powder like this. Okay, then I actually keep it inside a glass container so that I can use it anytime I want. Just scoop it up, all right? Now, why is it you need to dry roast blachan? Because you need to, uh, that's the way to really bring out the real fragrance of the blachan itself. So you need to dry roast it, all right? Uh, remove the uh, water content inside the blachan paste. Okay, so other than blachan, um, we have our normal uh, bla uh, sam uh, samba blachan ingredient, which is of course the red chili mixed with some green chili, yeah, for the color. So uh, you can choose if you don't like the seeds. Somebody asked me, Appa, if I don't like the seeds, how I, how do I blend or, or grind the seeds totally? You, you don't really, you can't really grind the seeds totally. Uh, the easiest way is for you to de -seeds before you grind, yeah? So what, uh, I don't mind the seeds, so I'm going to uh, put in the whole chili inside. Um, this is not common for sama blachan. Sama blachan, you don't have to put this, but for this dish, yes. I will need a bit of a uh, little Indian, uh, no, this is little red onion. This is a few cloves of uh, garlic, okay? So, and then there's one thing which I don't put here, which I normally will usually put inside all my uh, sama blachan. It is the kalamansi juice and kalamansi skin. Now, for this particular dish, you're not supposed to put in anything sour. Okay, so don't add the calamansi inside here. Alright, and then this one is actually very important. And I do have to uh, confess, it is not supposed to be ikan bilis. This is anchovies, ikan bilis here. It is supposed to be dried shrimp. Dried shrimp, yeah? Dried shrimp is the best ingredient for this particular dish. But I run, Appa run out of dried shrimp at home. So I'm using ikan bilis here as a replacement. All right, anchovies, yeah, anchovies. Now, why is it I choose ikan bilis here as a replacement? Mainly because the dry shrimp is actually there to give this dish a bit of seafoody uh, aroma and taste for the whole dish. And dry uh, ikan bilis, dry anchovy here will actually give similar effect, okay? But if you have dry shrimp at home, use dry shrimp. And you can use a lot more, yeah? Probably even two to three or two to three big tablespoon. Okay, so first of all, I will just quickly uh, blend my uh, chili. Okay, usually it will be easier if you cut it into smaller. I will remove the head, the chili head. Remove the head. Okay. 
Last time I used to prepare all the ingredients in the necessary shape before my video but then many uh, followers especially the beginners always want me to show as much process as possible so that they can follow yeah so if you are those who are very good in cooking already seasoned uh, chef at home you just uh, you just get some idea from Appa and you use it your way all right don't worry Just remove the chili head. So I have a hand blender here. I like using hand blender for for small little things like this. Putting this, putting the chili. Okay. Usually when they are if they, they don't have powder but instead of the paste they will actually grind grind the paste together but mine is already in powder form so I, I don't have to grind together let me quickly give it a few blend many people always ask Appa, Appa what is your blender what is your stove what is your kitchen utensil now appa will be launching my uh, official apps very soon and inside the cooking appa official apps besides some ingredient details i will also uh, put in what are the put in the links for the all the kind of equipment that i use in my kitchen okay so that uh, for those who are interested of course so i'm going to add a little bit of oil just to make it a bit more creamier don't worry about oil in here because later I just put lesser oil yeah, in the wok. Lock it up. Okay, see? Something like this will be good enough. So let's start the stir frying. Now that I rethink again, I should have deseeds my chili because this will go in directly to the veggie and it probably will be a little bit spicy and a little bit too spicy for my family. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you're cooking this dish, I actually suggest you remove the seeds before you start branding, uh, grinding the, the chili. Yeah? Okay, now, so we have some, put some uh, oil here. First of all, you want to... Uh, fry your ikan bilis or your dried shrimp until a little bit crispy okay so this process may take uh, a minute or two depending on the amount of uh, your ingredient uh, to be very frank this is all the ikan bilis i've left at my house also oh my god i need to buy a lot more okay and now i'm going to put in my chili paste Blachan, okay, this is the star of the dish. It can be very choking, yeah, but it's going to be very fragrant. Very choking, but very fragrant. Ooh, I still managed to. Uh, smell the seafoody smell from my uh, ikan bilis. Very nice. Okay, don't use too high heat. Use medium high or medium, okay? Because you don't want to burn your chili. Mmm, look at how appetizing this is. I still leave a bit of uh, chili, yeah. I'm not going to put in everything because I don't think my veggie is that much. Okay, and now we can actually put in the veggie. Uh, if you are rajin, yeah, then uh, you probably want to cook this, the stem first. But apa, uh, never mind. Okay, after you put in the veggie, then you can actually raise the heat.
We can actually add a bit of water here to ease the cooking process. I have a soup right next to it. So I'm going to add in the soup instead of uh, normal water. That's going to enhance the flavor even more. Yeah, just like using a chicken stock. Always use a stock to cook anything. That, that will definitely helps to enhance the flavor of any dish that you are cooking. Okay, I'm on high heat right now. And I'm trying to flip this, all the veggie, nicely. Okay, the veggie has started to shrink. Okay. Now I'm going to season the dish with a bit of salt. A little bit of sugar. Light soy sauce. We are almost there. Frying veggie is always very fast. Uh, I don't mind adding a little bit more chili. Many people like to measure everything they cook. Uh, Apa doesn't really measure. My best measurement is my eyes, yeah? When I see it's not enough, I will add. And Chinese, I mean uh, Malaysian cook, what we normally do is we agar agar, yeah? They call eyeballing. Alright, it's almost done. And just cover this with a lid and let it simmer for one minute. Then we will come back. Okay, this is after about a minute. The veggie should be cooked by now. And it has uh, absorbed all the goodness from the blachan and the sambal. Okay, beautiful green. Done. So I'm going to uh, serve this onto a plate. Yep. Okay. So here's my uh, stir fry sweet potato leaves with sambal blachan. Alright, I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. I repeat, uh, number one, you should have. Uh, it's better to use dry shrimp. Number two, uh, if you don't want this to be too spicy, remove the seeds before you uh, grind your chili. Yeah, bye bye.